Hello guys, welcome to the Super Bits and Bobs channel. You must excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold, but uh, don't worry, you're not in danger of catching it uh, down the mic, as far as I'm aware. Anyway, what I thought we'd do today is play some Atom Zombie Smasher. What I've been trying to do with the game recently is play hardcore, um, and it's fucking hard. Um, exceptionally hard, in fact. I've been playing permadeath as well. Um, I haven't done too much, I have to say. I've kind of started a couple of new games to try and work out some tactics to try to get through the levels. Um, and I thought I'd maybe show you what, I, what I've been doing. Um, you do need to choose some things though, without question, you can't. You can't just go into it and, and that's it. You really do need some stuff. Um, so I normally picked uh, fully stocked, so you get all of the mercs and special abilities. Uh, they don't have any experience though, so they still start off quite, start off quite, start off at the at level naught or one or whatever. Um, party wagon, I choose that so you can carry an extra merc. Um, triplets means you can have more than one of the same mercenary type, and that seems to be pretty key for me. I think from what I've seen, so you need to choose that one. Chooser again, you can change the lineup of your merch. You need that. Oh, God knows how you do it other than that. So we'll choose that as well. I've done 2,000 for a short game. Uh, so let's start. Um, I've been loving this game. It's so simple and so fantastic. Kind of a bit tower tower defensey, I suppose. Um, but yeah, brilliant game. And so basic as well visually, you know, I mean the style is fantastic, but uh, yeah, it's amazing that you that the game can have such depth and, 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 and be so simplistic at the same time. Anyway, uh, you definitely need to, as you see on the map, um, the guys have started, the zombie outbreak started off at level 2. Um, you, you need to press enter here, remember to do that so you can change your lineup, uh, get rid of the artillery, because I don't really think that's going to be any good for us. Um, what I've been doing, or what I've found that I've had to do, is choose two Z baits. Um, the, the on the hardcore, the zombies move so fast. You you need to uh, ch to give your helicopter any time of being able to pick things up. You really need to um, control the zombies because they're just crazily fast. So a couple of Z baits. Um, you also w w um, on the hardcore mode. What happens is is that your your equipment levels up much quicker. So you need to get some stuff leveled up really quickly. I found Z baits are important. Barricades, um, it's very important as well. Um, it doesn't take long for your barric for, your, for your, to be able to get sort of you know four and five barricades from from one from one mercenary. So that's important. <coughs> I was trying to use infantry, but the zombies are so fast they don't really seem to stand any chance of doing anything at all. Um, same for landmines and artillery as well. When I started off the last game I played on hardcore, I did have I was leveling up two barricades and two Z baits basically. But it gets to a point where your barricades level up, and you don't need, you only need one because you get four or five barricades, and because you can't block off areas of the map completely, you get to a point where you don't really need um, two bar two two, two barricade mercenary barricades. So. I'm not sure whether I should go with just trying to up, up to, lo to level up um, a couple of them as quickly as possible, um, or maybe what I might do is start by, by having two barricades and oh, I'm going to carry five and get rid of those guys then. Two barricades and two Z baits, and let's see how we go. Um, because it is all about controlling the zombies on on on, on the hardcore. Um, I'm not sure if maybe later on the um, the offensive mercenaries come into it, but just to give your helicopter any chance, you need to make it as hard as possible for the zombies. So let's fly up to this uh, to this point here. Uh, and this is quite tricky because it's a small map, um, and I need to divert. I just need to, as I said, I need to make it as hard for the zombies as possible. Um, because you've got less time, daytime as well. I'm only going to I'm only going to get two pickups, so I need to really pick up thirty. 30 on each just to complete the level and get some points. Um, any, this is the way I'm playing it anyway. You know, I'm, I'm sure there are some mental experts out there who, who, <laughs> you know, can do a whole lot more. But I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to the zombies from the top here. I'm going to force them to go. Uh, what can I do? I'm going to force them to go. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. Okay. Why can't I do that? Because they can still get around there. Oh, sorry, that's all the barricades gone there. <laughs> these these three at the top here, I'm going to force to go along here. Um, 
what I might try and do is can I push these guys maybe try and push these bottom guys up here a bit um, and then I'm going to use them to dead Z baits to try and control the zombies in this sort of area here the only thing you've got to watch out for is that you do you do get some of the big zombies come out um, and if they walk up to a building where there's a gas main problem they'll blow the whole bloody block up um, so if I get my helicopter coming in where I can pick up as I said you're really only going to get a couple of pickups so um, where can we go oh god let's have a see these zombies here are going to come rushing down this well no actually I'm going to have to control those with a Z bait aren't I um, let's plonk it there see what happens um, so we'll start the game immediately switch it to 10% game speed click on a Z bait and then go go for go for a higher game speed and let's see look at look how quick the zombies are moving I don't know if you can see that <laughs> that's very so what I now need to do is to stop these guys really from, from getting down there um, so I will I'll put a Z bait there and pull them hopefully pull them back yeah so we'll pull these guys back the guys at the top there have got to go all the way along so uh, keep an eye on your Z bait because you do then need to use the next one pretty rapidly uh, let's slow it down. So he's so the helicopter is going to get a 30 pickup on the first go. So now these zombies are then are going to start sort of zooming down this road again, um, and I need to bring them back just so that the helicopter's got enough time to have another pickup essentially. Um, I try and leave it as long as possible. Let's put the Z bait down now and see what happens. Hopefully the Z bait will kick in, bring these guys back. Yep. So essentially, uh, so it's night time now as well. So th this helicopter needs to get in quick and pick out. I don't know. He's gonna, I don't think he's going to make it actually. No, these zombies are just going to come streaming in. Um, if, unless it's uh, see. I mean, the good the good thing. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a complete failure. This one. Yeah, <laughs> zombies were too quick. But hopefully, what will happen is is that. Um, the Z baits will level up, and that they'll last a lot longer on the next map. So I'm not going. I'm going to get, you know, I've got 92 points on that. Oh, that's really bad. Um, Permadeath, so I can't play the level again. Um, and I've got nothing there, so it doesn't appear as though. Oh, I didn't realise that. It didn't doesn't, doesn't appear as though your <laughs> your if you fail your mercenaries don't get any points. That's terrible. You know what? I'm going to go back and quickly start again because that—that's guess I don't know what the hell I would do from from that point <laughs> onwards. That <laughs> would be game over. Um, let's try again. It's only a 2,000 point game that I'm, I'm playing. I hope this is making some sense with my cold and whatnot. Right. Let's clear that. That's a couple of zombie, couple of Z baits, couple of barricades. Let's try that again. Uh, it may not be the most, uh, the, the best choice of of, um, of units on the first level, but that's what I've generally found has allowed me to actually complete the level. Um, right, problem here is that if a big Z comes out of this one, he's going to blow up that, he's going to blow up that building. Uh, so I just hope that they don't basically. So I'm going to push these guys along. Um, I'll come along here and go down here. I can put that there, so that will... The other thing to try to do as well, if you can, let's pick that one up again and move it down a little bit, is just that the zombies have to go, have to move as quickly as possible. So I've put, I could put this one here, but if I put it here, um, it means that the zombies are going to... Some of the zombies will run up there and then run back again, so it kind of wastes time. Um, they've all been placed. Let's put one here, so that will push these guys up. I can't really stop these guys from doing much at all. Um, can I put one there? I guess I could put one there so some of them may run up there and then come back again. Um, helicopter's obviously got to go over here. Not too worried about the scientists particularly so we'll put that there. <coughs> the only thing I'm worried on this on for this level is that there are two two dodgy buildings with gas main problems so if a big zombie comes along he's going to blow those up and half the bloody blocks. So let's start and see how we get on. 10% game speed Right, get a bait ready. Right, there's a big one, so we need maybe need to try and keep him away from um, 
Right, so I think. Oh, what do I think? What do I think? I'm going to pull those guys back. Hopefully. Oh, they got pulled back here. So I've pulled those guys back. The bloody. <coughs> so essentially, all I'm worried about now is getting another load of 30. <laughs> That's it, basically. And just to just to get some experience for my guys. So I've got another Z bait. Um, which I'll put about there. We'll leave it as that Z bait still running. It stopped running, so we'll leave it as late as possible. Um, to bring them back. So for these zombies to actually get to see, the problem is that these big zombies are going to blow that building up. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to do that now, basically, because I need to keep the big zombie away from the red, the red building. But that looks better this time. I think probably I'm going to pick up. I'm going to get 30 rescued, so 60 rescued, so we will uh, we'll complete this level. Um, I might even manage to get another one quickly if if my Z bait. Um, this Z bait here. Right, let's use that Z bait. Let's see if we can keep some of these guys here. Uh, the sun's about to go down, so it's going to be tricky. Um, and I'm not sure if we'll get in for another for another load, but let's give it a go. Okay, here we go. So we've got 60, so we're going to finish this level. <coughs> As a bonus, which sounds quite good, I might even be able to pick up some more. Yeah, we'll get a few more. I mean, these zombies will come rocketing out of there. <laughs> Actually, uh, we pull a few back. Oh, amazing. 87, that's the best I've done so far. So as you can see, I mean, our, our mercenaries have gained loads of levels there. Which will hopefully make it easier on the next uh, the next one. So let's have some upgrades. Two upgrades from the barricades. Next unit. Upgrade points. Right. Um, from a Z bait. I think I'm going to go 10 seconds and bring the time down a bit. Same again for the. Oh. So for the Z bait, I've, I've lowered the, um, the recharge time. <coughs> Excuse me, bit of a cough there. So right, we're winning. <laughs> we're winning on the first uh, on the first one. Now what I try and do for the next map is to bring a, bring something else up to level, uh, up some levels because I'm I'm not gonna. I think one of the barricades has got five barricades, so. I'm not going to need to choose two of those. Slower Z movement. Wow, that that's that that might help quite a bit actually. Let's um let's have a look over here. Right, six entryways for the oh god, what I've done. I haven't uh, mercenary roster. Can I change it? Oh, what a noob. Right, I haven't changed my mercenary roster, so um, I'm stuck with with these for now. Right, so the guys at the top here, we're going to force this way. Um, I'm going to put that there because that then means that these guys have got to go up there and then round. Um, I've still got, <laughs> I've got loads of barricades, that's a real waste, but never mind. I can put that there, which will. No, that's no good. I'm going to put that there. So what I want to do is... No, I can't do that. Can I do that? Yeah. Nope, don't want to do that, do I? So... Yeah, so these guys are going to be pushed. I can't put that there. Bloody hell, they're going to be pushed around there. So my helicopter is going to be going up the top there somewhere. Let's push these guys along here. Can't do that. Right, so yep, so I've, I've wasted some barricades over there. You go. Let's have a pick up here. So these these zombies are going to be moving slower. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not sure how much slower. But we'll see how we get on. Let's start the level. Go to ten speed. 
Let me get that all important Z bait ready. Really, I mean, you know, the best unit for hardcore mode, I think, really. Now, these guys are actually moving quite a bit slower. Um, which is pretty neat, actually. So, I need to keep an eye on it, but this might be a better level. See, I can... Oh, no, those guys are moving quick. Oh, no, it's gone wrong. Oh, no, have they been pulled back? Oh, God, it's gone wrong, isn't it? Some... Somehow... Oh, that's terrible. That's interesting. I didn't know that. What appears to...